Hi guys, again I'm magically inside. I'm working, just about to do my Korean lesson. <sighs> it's getting quite tough. Um, yes, yeah, so um, someone commented that my videos are never long enough, so I thought instead of walking around and just doing a snippet, which actually is right, it's not helpful to anyone, right? I thought I'd um, do a little bit of a longer one, and I hope that I don't just moan throughout it, but I've got a feeling that I might. <laughs> so uh, I'm just not understanding how armchair detective Alan Vinicum has time to do so many videos. I mean, isn't he at the moment putting one advert up for one, then the other one arrives a couple of hours later, and that goes on for about three or four hours through the night. Then he's doing ones for Patreon, doing adverts for Patreon. So basically, he's using YouTube now to get people onto Patreon to give him money. Um, and then he comes back to YouTube and, and puts it on there because he was so afraid because someone was, was um, stealing his work on Patreon, on Patreon. So he's now forced to come back onto YouTube. I mean, basically, the Wusex forced him to come back onto YouTube, didn't they? And the Wusex agreed with him. The Wusex agreed with me in the beginning. They were all for me, weren't they? But someone's stolen my work verbatim. So now I've been forced to come back on YouTube. Is that the situation? I'm. That's what he says. And... I hate the fact that I'm kind of watching some of the videos still because A, it depresses me, B, it's so full of shit and so nasty that it's depressing to everyone, I'm sure. It's a waste of time. I don't want to support him in any way, but in a way it's like I can't wait to sort of see what he's going to say next. And I think maybe this is why he's getting so many views, because other people are doing the same thing and um, just can't believe what he's going to come out with next. But and it is kind of funny, but also it's terrifying because he's very aware, I think, of what he's doing. Um, this is a person who craves fame. This is a person who has got something very wrong with his head. Um, no moral grounding whatsoever no morals whatsoever, no care whatsoever. And it's interesting, isn't it, that you never see him in debate with anyone. He's never done a video where someone else has come along and they've discussed things, or someone has come along who is an expert, after all the ones that aren't, and questions what he says, and you see Alan Vinicom actually talking to someone as two adults, rather than a sort of moron and a psychic talking together who both know the background of the video they're about to shoot and then they just sort of make the narrative around Alan's narrative. So whatever he thinks goes. You never see that, would you? Because you would never see Alan Vinicom actually having a conversation with someone in an adult manner about it all because I think he knows what he's saying is rubbish. I think he's such a con man that even he knows what he's saying is rubbish. And the more this goes on, the more everyone realises he's a con man. And what comes out of it is the fact that he doesn't care. Because the people that he's left with, I feel, in my opinion, are very damaged people. Lonely people. And you can see from his lives that they really thrive off each other. Most of them don't even listen to what he's saying. It's just like background noise. And it must be of comfort to them. It's the same time every day, it's the same person every day, it's the same format every day. It's a completely same format with a completely different idea every single day. So you always get this new bit of information that you can just kind of sort of mong along to. But all of their conversations are just catching up with each other and supporting each other, this, that and the other. Not about what he's saying, not about the case, not about anything like that. And I do understand that side. I do understand that we all need that bit of comfort and having this familiar voice is very reassuring. But there's a very sinister undertone to that because what one is doing is supporting, supporting a scammer, a con man, a liar, which is what Alan Vinicom is. And he knows it. And if you don't still don't think, and I so appreciate the people that have gone in contact with me who are supporters of his, I so appreciate that. I would never say your names and you're always welcome here and I would love a good debate about it. I would love to hear the other side as to why so many people 
are supporting such an open scammer, such an obvious scammer. There is no way, even in the last six months, let alone the last two years, that someone can be right about so many theories. This person would have been picked up by the government to be used in all of their undercover um, assignments. This person, hell, they would be the, the genius of the universe. They would be the cleverest person in the world. They would have the top job in the world. They would be doing everything for everyone. But this is not, this is a person sitting in his bed sit, um, being rude to people, lying about people, um, plagiarizing work, glorifying murder, accusing people of murder, um, trying to shut down other channels on YouTube, successfully shutting down other channels on YouTube, getting other people to abuse other people on YouTube and claiming for false donations for false charities and keeping the money. So, and this is a person that constantly needs reassurance. Who do you believe? Do you believe the FBI or do you believe me? Do you believe the CBI or do you believe me? Do you believe mainstream media and the police or do you believe me? I don't know why you ask that because I know who I believe. I know who I believe because the amount of theories that you've had on over your thousands of videos that you've made, which have all been different, what are the chances, subs, that he's right? What are the chances that you should believe Anna Vinikum in anything when everything that he's laid out has turned out to be a lie, an untruth or doctored, made up? He's had so many theories. Nicole is involved. Chris did this. Chris did that with the Watts case. And then, um, and then the, the CBI didn't do that. And then they did the whole case wrong. And then the interview wrong. And I know the real secrets because I've got the real documents. And I've got the letters. I've got the letters as well. Chris Watts letters, which no one else can see. So I know the truth. I can't tell you the truth. can't tell you the truth. But I know the truth. And I've known it for all these years. I've known it for years. This is what he said. And he's known the truth for all these years. He just can't say it. So what do you think, out of 100, the chances of that of it being true are? Okay, and then if you add it to the fact that he also knows the secret about Maddie McGann, he knows all of that stuff. He knows the Portuguese documents and he knows the answers and he knows about the murder and he knows how to solve it. Um, what do you think the chance of that and the Watts case that him knowing what happened is true? If you weigh that up, what are the chances that this man in um, the south of England, nowhere near London, never goes into London, wouldn't even know what to do with himself in London. Sitting there, without a job, professional gambler, professional hustler, um, who lies, changes his narrative every five seconds. What do you think the chances of being able to trust him are? And what do you think the chances of people that have been training for 20 years, have the most incredible jobs in the police force and were actually on the front lines and saw the cases and saw the protagonists and saw everyone close to this murder? What do you think the chances are of that? I know who I would pick. Yet what is happening between YouTube airways and people's head that they are sitting there, mostly American um, uh, because I don't know what's happening across the pond there that they think that this English person here is, is um, kosher in any way. I don't know whether they think it's charming or not, but all the British people can see through that and see that it's absolute rubbish. Um, what is happening between what he's saying and people's psyche, people's heads that are receiving it and going, Oh, right, yeah, yeah, NK must have been involved. Yes, yes, she must have been in the basement. No, she must have been walking outside. So was she in the basement? She must have been in the basement and walking outside. And Chris Watts didn't do this. And then... What's happening? Because if you logically... If you logically went through every one of Alan Vinicom's, um videos about the Watts case, you wouldn't know your ass from your elbow. Then if you crowbar all his psychics into that that claim that they don't know anything about the case, but they magically just sort of flap these letters, these cards, and then put the cards out. Oh, yes, 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 Of course they know about the case. They haven't, Alan Vinegar hasn't just rung them and gone, do you want to fancy doing some cards about Valley McGann? Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Of course they've talked about it. The woman the other night with the Manny McGann card, she constantly flicks them and flicks them, and then every single one she pulled out, oh, yeah. Yeah, twins, you see, I see twins. Don't know anything about the case, but I see twins. Of course you know about the case. It's all a complete lie. 
what goes on in the background, people, is that these got people ferreting around, all joining together for one big scam. Now, I don't know about Net Netta Newbound, but um, she's kind of deleting all the comments, deleting what everyone's saying about Alan Vinikim, so I either feel really sorry for her, or um, I wouldn't read her. Because if she's in on it, I don't trust anyone who's in on this, because it shouldn't be happening. The grief and the pain that this man has caused people is astonishing. And now to again latch on to the news about this new suspect in the Maddie McGann case. And now latch on and then and then just completely start making your videos about Maddie McGann now again. Saying that you know the truth. Only you know the truth. Only you have these documents. I mean, what are the chances, dude? And there's only so long that people can go on, surely, because my brain is about to explode with this, this constant, I've, only I've got the news, I've, I've got the, the, the documents, I've, I've got the documents, you know, only I've got the information, only I know the truth, I know the truth, nobody else knows the truth. Do they know the truth? And I'm writing a book as well, I can do all of that. I can do lives for like six, seven, eight hours a night, and then do Patreon, and then I write a book as well. Oh no, I'm not writing a book. Oh no, I haven't got the letters, have I? No. It's all bogus. I wish, guys, that you could see behind the scenes because you would be so shocked if you're a sub to AD and especially if you're believing what he's saying. If you are believing what he's saying, please go and get some help. Um, by all means, watch him. But please don't give your money to this man. Please don't. He has made thousands and thousands and thousands. This is his job. That's why he never goes out. He's doing it all day, not researching, just sitting in front of the camera, talking rubbish. And please, if you are a person of skill and you have interest in the channel or you're new, please watch for a bit longer and please look underneath and realise, listen to us channels, realise that Alan Vinicom is completely bogus. And please don't associate yourself with him if you're an author or a psychic or anything else just to get publicity, please don't, because the publicity you will get is not good publicity and you need to take care of yourself and your own business. You do not want to be associated with Alan Vinicom on YouTube. And it's just YouTube. It's not television, Alan. Okay, you don't have a whole crew around you of professionals. You're not professional. Otherwise, you would have taken the money that people have given you and actually invested in equipment so you don't have to shuffle your camera up. You don't have to steal other people's work. You would actually make your own. But you don't have any content because you can't do anything on your own. Um, I don't know why I'm suddenly talking to Alan now. It's weird, isn't it? Suddenly it changed and I was talking to him. I hate it when people do that. So anyway, again, if anyone is one of his supporters, please, please do contact me and let me know why. And if you still are, um, I don't look down on you in any way. I look down on him. Because I am so shocked that this is what YouTube ended up being. I thought it was a creative platform, but of course, you're always going to get a spanner in the works. You're always going to get these types of people. Because these types of people ruin the world for everyone else. And that's all he's doing. Really ask yourself, does he bring you pleasure? And even the words, those words coming out of my mouth have just made me feel sick. Are you learning anything real from him? Is it informative? Is it instructive? Is it positive? Um, does it improve your life? Does it make you feel good? I doubt that it does. So choose channels that are positive and informative. There are many crime channels. Alan Vinicom is not a crime channel. This is a man who will make money any way he can. I mean, for any YouTuber who by choice has put a camera on himself and by choice people are kind enough to watch him and from them then to, to speak to them and treat them the way he does. He comes on and expects people to just bow down at his feet and they're doing him a favour watching him. They're there for him. The only reason he's able to do this is because they're paying him money. And he actually said the other day when he was late, hold on, do you pay me by the hour? Do you pay me by the hour? No. Come in when I like. Start when I like. 
I mean, my God. It's a, such an indication of that real person coming out. He doesn't care. He and his other cohorts are lining their pockets and I'm sick of it. And please don't write me a message saying, don't watch it then. Doesn't really help, does it? The reason I'm doing this is to try and spread some information or ex ex um, express how I feel. Because it's got to the point now where, how is this person in operation? And it's just making YouTube laughable. Anyway, look, you see what happens? I start to feel negative. It sort of gets in there because he's so negative. He's this negative force in the world and it's just pointless because it's like a sort of having a fly wafting around, just getting in there and just being annoying. Anyway, now I'm being annoying because um, I've gone on too long. So that was just another soapbox. I'd say that it was less kitten heel, more of a stiletto this time. Quite a high soapbox. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Everyone's tried everything right, to get rid of this um, scourge. But this scourge is going to keep coming back any way he can. But it'd be interesting if the monetary part of it was cut off, wouldn't it, Alan? Would you keep coming back then? Or would you go back to your bar? Or back to your little website looking for boys and girls? It'd be interesting. The only way we'll know if is that happens, right? Anyway, don't give them your money, guys. Use it for charity or on yourself or on your family and your loved ones. Because Alan Vinicom is not a loved one. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.